So in this video, we are going to understand about ERP implementation lifecycle. Now, before we proceed further, I would request you to watch previous video to understand about what is ERP, what is ERP implementation and what are the parties involved in ERP implementation. So let's begin with our ERP implementation lifecycle. Whether I call it ERP implementation lifecycle or whether I call it phases in ERP implementation or I can say what is the ERP implementation process. This all terminologies will be summarizing one thing only that what exactly involves in ERP implementation. That's what we are going to understand. So primarily there are three parties in ERP implementation. One is ERP vendor. Second is business organization. And the third is ERP consultancy company. ERP vendor are various and uh, we opted for Oracle. And there are also various business organization and we opted for Amazon just for simplicity purpose. And there is a ERP consultancy company which help business organization to implement the ERP. So we will continue that example in this video. Now Amazon has purchased Oracle ERP and Amazon wants to implement this ERP and for this Amazon is hiring ERP consultancy company. So this ERP consultancy company will help Amazon to implement the ERP and after implementation business of Amazon will be running on ERP software. So just think logically what will be the steps involved. So the very first thing is that Amazon wants to run their business on this ERP software. So this ERP consultancy company first of all they have to understand their business requirement. So ERP consultancy company will understand the business requirement of the Amazon. Okay, so what kind of business requirement will be? So in Amazon, there will be various departments like payables, receivables, purchasing, HR, supply chain management and so on. And each of this department will be having managers. These managers will meet with ERP consultancy company. Now in ERP consultancy company, there will be consultant and there will be a meeting between this consultant and this managers. And during this meeting, ERP consultant will understand the business requirement from these managers. Along with managers, there will be top executives of the company who will sit with consultant and understand in detail how Amazon is doing their current business. So that is also called as this analysis means how Amazon is doing their current business that ERP consultant will understand. Let's say for example, Amazon is primarily into the e-commerce business. So they usually receive the orders from customer and then they process it further by intimating to vendors and then vendor creates an invoice, ships the goods and delivers to the customer and then customer makes the payment and so on. So this is the order to cash cycle. So this ERP consultant will understand each and every step of this order to cash process. How Amazon is receiving their order, how Amazon is intimating to their vendors, how vendors are shipping and delivering goods along with Amazon and how customer is getting invoice, how the payment is being received from the customer. All these things ERP consultant will understand. He or she will document it. Okay. So the very first step in the ERP implementation is as is analysis or you can say requirement gathering or in other words, some may call it discovery phase because here ERP consultancy company is discovering what is the as is business of the Amazon. Simple. Now why they are doing this as is business because they want to implement ERP and why they want to implement ERP because Amazon wants to run their business efficiently without any human error and provide better services to their customers. What will be the next step? Just think logically. So this ERP consultant will do the gap analysis. Now, what I mean by gap analysis, gap analysis is like this. So ERP consultant is having a good knowledge of ERP software and business processes and internal control. So this ERP consultant will compare whatever the requirement is being gathered in step one, along with his internal knowledge, along with the ERP software configuration knowledge that how we can bridge the gap which are there in the current system. So let's say for example, Amazon is receiving goods from the customer and they intimate about this order to vendor through email or by telephone. So now after ERP implementation, Amazon wants to automize this that as in when the order is received from the customer, vendor should get the direct notification that this order has been received from 
so and so customer with this and that detail so they want to do this automation so that's what this erp consultant will make notes of it understand it well and accordingly he will proceed further okay so that was the first example another example can be let's say for example vendor is then shipping the goods then delivering the goods this is all the manual process right amazon has to again and again follow up with the vendor that what is the status of shipment what is the status of our delivery whether the customer has received an invoice or not whether the customer has made payment or not all this thing amazon has to track manually so there is no any system as of now okay so these are all the gaps within the processes we have to constantly follow up there is a manual process involved there is no any automation and over and above there is no any internal control system so therefore this erp consultant's role becomes an important this erp consultant will understand their business requirement as is and will apply his knowledge and accordingly gap analysis will be done and a final blueprint of their to be process will be prepared now what is to be process it's like this is the current process of the amazon and after erp implementation what will be the process amazon will be following while running erp that's what this erp consultant will do so that's a second step so the first is requirement gathering as is analysis or we can say discovery phase second is gap analysis based on gap analysis there will be to be process that what will be the future processes of the amazon okay so this is the step two third step is configuration of erp and uh, we also call it this phase as design phase means first we gather the requirement then we decided how will be our future business processes and based on this future business processes erp configurations will be done okay so the configurations like let's say when we receive the order from customer how this needs to be intimated to vendor that configuration will be done how vendors are doing shipment how they are doing delivery how the invoice is sent how the receipts are received from the customer these are all the configurations within the erp that erp consultant does okay so just think logically i am just trying to make it easy first is as is analysis second is to be business process this is all on documents we are just doing the meeting with business managers and we are just planning until step 2 that was planning phase and the third one is design phase that means we are doing the erp configuration so i hope the three steps are clear as is process to be future process and the third is erp configuration okay let's move ahead so the fourth process is just think logically what will be the fourth process so we ended with the erp configuration that was our third step now after erp configuration is done this erp consultant will give demo to different managers okay so this technically demo session is called crp which stands for conference room pilot so it's kind of like we have done some configurations on erp and we have decided there to be future business processes and this we are presenting it to the managers so in this crp session or demo presentation session this erp consultant will show to managers that after they implement erp how will be their business processes how the orders will be received from customer they will create some dummy transaction how this order will be intimated to vendor how vendor will do shipment delivery invoicing receipts this all things this erp consultant will present it in front of managers and this managers will see lively on their screen how their business processes will run after erp implementation so this is also very critical stage because managers have to take a decision that that's how their future business processes will be running on their application and this will be the system on which they will be working in future so that becomes an important step in erp implementation okay so after this crp session or demo session there comes the fifth step so after this demonstration this managers will give the confirmation to erp consultant that the yes the processes which we discussed in step 2 which was to be business processes they are accurate they give the sign off you go ahead and start the next step of which will be training this erp consultant will give training to managers and other employees who are working in the amazon so in this training all the detailed procedures will be shown to each and every employee of the organization who are doing the ground work so this consultant has to 
prepare some documentation with screenshots that this is how you need to follow the processes so if you receive the order from customer that's what you need to do these steps in erp if you want to intimate to the vendor these are the steps one has to do in the erp software okay so i hope you are following me this is screenshots will be for different business processes now after training what will happen just think logically the employees or users are trained okay in erp implementation we call employees as a user or we call it business users this business users will get training and after training what will be the next step they will do the testing so after the training is given to business users they will test the system thoroughly okay so whatever the documents which we have shared they will test it by themselves so whatever they are doing their manual processes presently they all will do it on the erp system okay so they will test each and every process thoroughly so the process will be same as i said earlier receiving order from customer intimating to vendor shipment delivery creating invoice receipts okay so this all will be tested by business users of amazon and once the testing is done business users will confirm they will give sign off that yes the system is working as per their expectation as per their requirement which was gathered previously and now they are good to go ahead and run their business on live erp system after testing once erp consultant gets the sign off from business users or managers the erp consultant will then start configuration on production so till now whatever the steps we followed on erp system they were all done on test instance so there are two instances one is test instance another is production instance so everything first we do it on test instance we configure it we test it and we get the confirmation and after the confirmation everything is moved on to the production instance okay so after production instance the business will go live live means the erp will be implemented in amazon and every processes like if let's say any customer is is purchasing any goods then amazon will receive their order through this erp through this erp vendors will be informed and further processes will start within the application so this is a drastic change now so earlier amazon was doing these processes manually now after erp implementation they are doing this on erp system so that's called go live of production now let me summarize all the steps in short so the very first process is as is analysis or requirement gathering or we can say discovery phase where we will study the existing business processes of amazon in second step we will do the gap analysis means what are the current gaps in their business processes what are the gaps in internal control system and based on that we will determine the to be future business processes based on this to be future business processes third step will begin which is the erp configuration which is also called design phase here the actual business processes will be configured in the erp system the fourth step is crp which is also called demo presentation of erp where we will give the demo to the managers that after erp implementation that's how they will do their business processes in the erp application after giving the demo we will give the training that's our fifth step so in training the managers the business users will be trained and they will be trained with how to run the erp system after training then comes the sixth step which is the testing so each and every manager and business users will test the erp system they will run their business processes which they are currently doing manually they will do the same on erp software just to see how it is and once the testing is done they will provide the confirmation to erp consultant and based on confirmation our seventh step will begin which is the production go live that means the erp system will be used for their running business processes and there will be no more manual processes after erp implementation so these are the seven steps in erp implementation after the erp implementation there is one more thing which is the support let's say this amazon is going live they are running their business processes live on the production instance after that if they are facing any challenge for a one month or two month erp consultant has to provide the support so in support this erp consultant will support the business users of amazon to run their business processes efficiently 
for business users this is new system so they may need the support and uh, during this support phase only they will get confident that yes the system which is implemented is efficient enough to manage their business processes so that will be the last step in the erp implementation cycle in real world there are various consultants like finance consultant supply chain management consultant human capital management consultant and there are so many others there will be so many business processes like procure to pay cycle order to cash cycle and so on so i have just explained this video from order to cash cycle point of view but in real world there are various processes which we follow in erp implementation but the flow of all the processes will be same whatever the seven steps we saw this will be the steps followed in every business process that should be very clear that's why i have just taken order to cash cycle because my main motto is to explain you the erp implementation life cycle and i hope that is very very clear so i have explained this video in very short in real life this is a very much complex things because it's a kind of a long journey for business organization and for erp consultancy company it's like a marriage between these two companies because this business organizations employees and erp consultancies employee have to work together do the business process analysis business process re-engineering so many things they do for their different business processes so sometimes it becomes very complex but everything i have just tried to explain you in the simplistic way just to give you understanding how the erp implementation life cycle is all about so in real world this erp implementation is a really complex process which involves uh, implementation process period from six months to two years and so on if a business organization is small it will take around six months if it's a medium size it will take one year to one and a half year and if it's a very big organization then it may take two years and for big organization usually this erp implementation done in phase manner like we decide phase one phase two and accordingly we do the implementation so whatever i have explained in this video is based on my practical experience i have tried to summarize everything whatever is involved in the erp implementation in this video you may google it you will find so many things with different different terminology but the essence of erp implementation is the same what i have explained in this video but you may also find somewhere that there are eight step there are nine step there are six step or 12 step it doesn't matter what matters is the logical flow and uh, what exactly we do in the erp implementation okay so i hope in this seven steps you understood the erp implementation life cycle if you have any questions comments feedback or anything good bad doesn't matter to me please mention in the comment section i would love to read your comments thank you so much for your time and see you in next video